Good morning, stamping friends. I'm Corinne Braxton, and I think we are live. I'm going to go check on my iPad, and we will see if we're transmitting this morning. It's a bright, sunny, beautiful day here in Bozeman, Montana. Oh, I see myself here. Let's see if we can get, we'll see about getting comments. Um... Anyway, it's a gorgeous day here. There's no smoke in the air. This is, I went out for a little tiny walk. Oh, thank you. I bet that's Lisa sending up hearts. And keep sending thumbs up. Oh, Melissa, thank you for doing that. Uh, glad you're here, Melissa from California. You're, it's earlier over there for you, isn't it? Nice. How are you feeling? I uh, hope you're doing well. Kathy Wilkerson. Hey, Kathy, I'm glad you're back from your trip. Hope you're feeling better and got some loving care while you were in Colorado. Um, anyway, good morning, friends. And uh, oh my goodness, here we are. The air was so cold and crisp this morning here. Um, it was. I went outside for a, a tiny walk. And uh, oh, glad to hear that you're doing well, Melissa. Um, I went out for a tiny walk because I don't want to let the time get away from me. And uh, it is very brisk here. It was in the 40s, so, but I am so thankful to see the mountains and to have no smoke, and we even had uh, snow in the mountains yesterday, and you know what, ladies? We have nine days left. Today is, including today, I think it's nine days left of celebration. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Appreciate the hearts that you send up. I appreciate the comments, anything like that. Help, helps the others find us. So, so glad you could watch this morning. I have two pretty projects for you. Um, so, remember, celebration, get your orders in. Um, the mini catalog goes on for a couple more months. Thankfully, I think it's probably the best catalog we've ever had. So, oh, don't forget, um, there is a, if your order is $300 or more, don't forget to add this. This is really a cool stamp. I love it. I'm actually going to do a kit class using this in uh, November. Um, so it's really a super one. Hey, Carolyn, good to see you too. Um, oh, I, I love th This is Blackberry. Thank you for noticing. This is Blackberry Bliss, and that's the color we're using today. We're using Blackberry Bliss and for one of the cards, and... Uh, and the Blackberry Beauty set. Oh, Jan, we've got lots of you coming on this morning. Hey there. I'm so s glad to see you girls from Missouri and Oregon and Montana and Georgia. It's it's fun. Anyway, this shirt is one, I mean, this color is one of my absolute favorites. And it's obviously not a summer color, but it's a, a nice fall color. And I, I like the color for me. And um, it's a, and, and thankfully we're doing a set called Blackberry Beauty DSP today. This gorgeous DSP, both cards, we're going to be using this. And it is just a beautiful, beautiful set with lots of gold on it. We, we couldn't get it for such a long time. It was on, it was not, it was the shipping was, you know, the shipping is a huge problem. Um, even this morning they talked about that in our, our demonstrator updates, how shipping is really impacting things around the country for everyone, not just for stamping up, obviously. We are building a new house and um, the shipping for appliances and lumber is, is horrendous. Okay, let's turn the camera down and you girls just keep talking amongst yourself and comment. And here we go, close your eyes. Get this into the right position. There we go. Here are two cards. I have a class this week on Thursday, in person or a kit class. And this one um, is, we are doing five cards. This one's a fun fold. We're not doing this one today, but it's really an easy one. Um, it opens up like that, fits in an envelope. And this is another one. You can see the gold on there and the lattice. They're just beautiful papers. It's one of the prettiest classes I think I've ever done. So anyway, that's just to line things up. So now we are going to get started. And I'm going to bring in 
our card that we're going to make. This one, I'm going to set those aside. We are going to make a sympathy card. We seem to need a lot of those, don't we? Unfortunately, but I love this flap card. This paper lends itself so well to this. There, um, you know, some papers do better than others. As for, like this is the whole sheet. And you can cut, what I always do is cut it down the middle. And then you have a piece like this. And you could actually cut it into three card fronts. But I even, you know, you I even get a little bit more by doing this. But anyway, it's a, and you could stamp up here. It's just a perfect set. And I'm, I actually want to, I want to make a set of six using this and just doing really quick and easy um, cards. This one's not, this is, this is an easy card. It's not hard by any means, but it's not a real quick one. Um, so it's a flap card. You, I've done flap cards before. I love it. It's one of my favorite type. So, and this is both of these sympathy. Uh, we're going to change it up a little bit today, but this is both of, this is my sort of my go-to set for sympathy. It's a good birthday too. Um, and a good congratulations, but I like it for the sympathy. It's called Peaceful Moments. It's in the annual catalog. It has a really nice, with deepest sympathy, thinking of you with all my heart. And that's what I chose for these two cards. But today we're going to um, the main stamp that comes with this is this Beauty of Tomorrow. I like to keep my embossing, my uh, dies and my stamps together, and that's just what I do. Um, I rubber band them. Um, I've used, I'm here for you. I knew this would be a tough day, difficult day, and there's a really neat bird, neat flower. It's just a really pretty stamp, too. Um, that is the set, that's the bundle that goes with this. However, we're going to use um, what's called Positive Thoughts. This is in the annual catalog. It was in the catalog last year. And let's see, it is on, I have it already marked. I'm very uh, somewhat organized. I always think I'm organized. It's on page 76. It's a $21 stamp. It's a red rubber. Uh, and I, I love the way, I love the words in it. I love the... One of, this is one of my favorite, Hugs, Prayers, Love. I just thought this, during COVID, this has been such a good one. Hugs, Prayers, Love, and Sending Positive Thoughts and Feel-Good Wishes. Because I sort of like that. I, I like that, to send positive thoughts. Um, so that's what we're going to use today. So it's just a really pretty stamp. If you, you maybe, you probably, I bet a lot of you have this from a year ago. And I was really pleased that it, it carried over and it has dies too. It has a really nice rectangle frame. Okay, here we go. And we'll... Um, put this aside and um, put it right there and we'll bring in our card parts got some ribbon here and let's see what else I have I don't want to lose my pieces um, and we'll try to try to remember to stamp on our envelope so get ready to take screenshots if you want um, we're, this one uses we, we just need a a base. We don't need, because the whole card, the flat part of it is, um, hey Carla, good to see you. Um, the flat part of this is the actual card and then it just goes on a base. And so this is, I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see and you can take screenshots. So there's your base, four and a quarter by five and a half. It's just slightly different than we, you know, it's just half of a card or a fourth of a card, just, uh, actually. Um, and then um, our, our, not chocolate, we don't even have the color chocolate anymore. We have espresso and that is three and a fourth by 11. That is, and scored at five and a half, so... That is going to go on like this. And then we have our designer paper. It's three inches by five and a half. That's an important one. That's just, you know, you can get a lot of cards um, out of that one sheet of paper. That's going to go on there. And then the very inside is going to be two and three fourths by five. So that might be a good screenshot right there if you want. And... Let's take this right here, take our envelope, okay, and um, let's see what's it, oh, I've got, when we get ready to stamp, we will, um, I think we'll maybe stamp first today. 
we'll do that because then I won't have a problem. Um, gluing things down ahead of time. I, some, I tend to do that once in a while. Let's go ahead and do our stamping. So I'm gonna just set that aside and uh, I'm gonna get my stamps out. We're gonna use brown and I'm going to use this punch. It's called uh, Label Me Fancy. And we're gonna, this time we're going to put it in a vertical direction. Um, so anyway, when I stamp it, it's gonna go like that. So I always like to put, I always cut out the, the name and, the, and the, the label. That just helps me, it doesn't help, you know, or if someone wants to buy it. Anyway, we've got our espresso ink here. And I'm gonna stamp the hugs. Prayers Love fits in there perfectly. And get that little chamois, get the chamois out there. And so that's going to be on the, the label. I'm gonna let that dry just for a second. And on the inside of our card, we're going to, I'm gonna, we're gonna punch that out, but we're going to just put something on the inside first. I'd like to get this all lined up on my grid paper and we're going to use a stamp called Friends Like You Mean More Every Year. So I'm going to ink up my espresso ink. Give it a good stamp. Isn't that a beautiful font? And then I think we'll put a little spray. This little spray of flowers comes from the beauty of tomorrow. We'll ink that up and put it right down here. Um, Get my sham. My chamois way out over here on the chair. I've got a chair set up next to me too. This bird is a wonderful set too. Is I love this. And maybe we'll do this one on the next card. I'll try to remember to do that. So we'll close up our ink and uh, oh, we have one more thing. I want to do this. I don't want to forget this today. I've been forgetting lately. I want to stamp the back of my card right now with this angel pot. This is the stamping up. Angels, nice to put your name on the back. There it is, that's stamping up, and then you can sign your initials. But at least it's a copyright for stamping up. Angel policy. So now let's, okay, let's get our punch ready. And we'll just punch this. Just like that. This also, you can see it punches a little slot and a dot, and that's to put your ribbon in or to put a brad, um, but you can you know, slide your ribbon right through there. Um, like this is a ribbon that we're using today, this, uh, this gold shimmer ribbon, but you could, you, could, uh, you could double it up and just put, poke it through like this. If you were, you know, you would make a tag. And um, it's really sort of a nice, nice punch, very, very, uh, very useful. And then the other punch that I've already punched this one, and that is from the uh, Everyday Label. So these two really go nicely together. They just fit you, they, like they were meant to be. So there we have it. And let's, uh, we'll just put that together first. We'll just put a little, let me just grab my little, my little uh, silicone mat here. And there we go. Oh, got a little uh, glue right there. So let's see once here. I, I'm trying to keep track too on my iPad. Um, your, of your comments. I, hi, Cindy Garfi from Colorado. Good to see you this morning. And now we're going to just put some dimensionals on that. Let me just, I don't even have my dimensionals handy this morning. Let's see once if I can find some. I have so many of these, uh, little things that I love. Let's see here. We can find some more. Oh, I have all minis. Oh, here they are. I'm just going to put a bunch of these on like that. So, Cindy, when do you go to Arizona? So, or is that where you're going? Do you go to Arizona in the winter? Um, 
I'm going to put a lot of them on here. I'm just going to leave them and set that right there. Put my dimensionals right there so I don't lose everything. Here we have our base, four and a quarter by five and a half. And now we'll put on our brown or espresso piece like this. And I'm just going to put it like that. I know this is just gorgeous DSP for sure. Oh, uh, it is on back order. Um, it is on back order right now, and I think it's coming in the 27th. I uh, The class that I have this week, it is included. Um, I'm including, well, actually, you get three things. You get a quarter pack of this, and you get two embellishments. Uh, so it's a pretty good value for $30 plus shipping for those of the ones I'm shipping. Um, so isn't that pretty? And then we'll do this on the outside. This is the beautiful piece. I'll show you the other side. Isn't that pretty? That's um, Rich Razzleberry is one of the colors too. And actually, no, I had Mary Merlot. Last week I used Mary Merlot, I believe. Either Rich Razzleberry, no, this is... This is Blackberry Bliss, and this is Rich Razzleberry and Mary Merlot. Those are all really good colors. I mean, at least colors I like to wear. They're good colors to craft with, too, in the fall. Okay, our card is really, it's really a pretty fast, pretty fast card. There we go. Isn't that pretty? Just pretty in its by itself. And now let's get our, oh, I know I forgot to stamp on the envelope. But I'm, I'll probably do, maybe do something else. Um, and we have to get our gems out. I wonder where I have those. Uh, let me see what's here. I thought I was very organized, and I don't see any gems, but I will get some here just in a second because we cannot finish this card without some gems. So I'm going to um, take the backings off. And I like to use my take, I love my take your pick tool. I use, I only use the, I see it, I just take them like that and put them in my wastebasket. I like, I love this and this, the piercing end. I don't, I really don't use the spatula, but some people like it a lot. Um, so you just, it just screws on there. And then the putty end, I just leave this on until it runs out and then I just swap it out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to, I'm just going to, lay this on the back like this and wind it back and forth. That's why I used even more dimensionals than I would normally use. Let's just see what that, okay, I think that'll be good. We we'll use it like that. It's maybe a little bit much, but um, maybe we'll take off this, this one right here. And I think I'll cut it with my snips You might take just a little bit more time than I did just to make sure it's the where, where you want it to, but you get the idea what I'm talking about. Okay, but it, if you use the dimensionals that way, then, there we go, we press it down really well because a lot of that uh, ribbon is covering up the dimensionals. And excuse me for just a second, we're gonna get some, we're gonna get some of those gems out and if I can find them very quickly. Huh. I, let me see once here. I'm I am still, <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite gems. And, uh, and I've got cords going everywhere this morning because my iPad was not charged this morning for some reason. Um, I use these gilded gems and uh, they're just perfect. I think uh, these uh, giant or elegant faceted ones are pretty nice too. We could use, maybe I'll use those today just to, to uh, do something slightly different. And actually, my class is getting a package of the gilded ones, so I don't want to use that for now because I might uh, run out 
Okay, so we're gonna just take our take our pick tool and slide that over and put that on there. Oh, it looks pretty. So it's uh, just a little different. So we'll put another one right there. Now we'll put our third one, we'll do a small one. We'll put that one right there. And there, I'm glad we have those at least. Hugs, prayers, and love. Friends like you mean more every year. So it means that you're thinking about someone. I just think that's sort of neat. And then let's, um, that one's got a little spot on it. Let's, uh, let's grab a different envelope. And uh, let's stamp on this one. I, I cleaned my stamp already, but that's okay. We can ink it up again. And we'll give it a little flower right there. Isn't that a pretty, maybe we'll even, let's make it a bigger spray. There we go. And I messed up my grid paper, but it's quite pretty, I think. And uh, there we have that. And then our card is finished. So we have, which do you think you like better? Which, thinking of this, the horizontal. Um, this one I did horizontal, that one's vertical, of course. This one I used the ribbon that's a little a bit, this one's a little shinier, that's on back order right now. Um, and I don't know exactly when, but that's part of my class this week too. Um, thankfully I ordered all of these things ahead of time, but this one too is a really pretty one. Then this one's still available. This is from the annual catalog. So we'll set those aside and bring in the next card. And, but isn't that wonderful paper? Um, I think that's a real winner. Our next card, oh, I have to show you this before I even start. Um, this is the ephemera pack. This is part of my class this week too. You get a whole package of this. This is on back order again. Um, it's gorgeous. It has all these sheets in it. I can open it up and I can seal it back up, but let's see, let me just show you this because it's cool. Um, it has all, it's one of the most beautiful sets. You can see all the, the leaves and the flowers and the, the frames. There are lots of frames. They're all die cut. And all you'll have to do is punch them out. And it is really, I have used up, I am down to the very last pieces of mine. And I actually keep them in a case like this, in one of our stamp cases. If you, don't, if you haven't had a stamp, if you don't have stamp cases, um, just order yourself some because they're fabulous to store things in. This is another ephemera pack, and this one is called, uh, this one's in the annual catalog, and I pull this out too just to throw it because I'm really limited. I don't have very many pieces left, but I thought I'd throw in some of this gold, and this you get um, a huge amount. It's very, it's a, you get all these gold, and it's all with tissue paper beneath it, so you probably have some of this. So anyway, that's the annual catalog ephemera. We are also using some of this, this paper. This is uh, the gold. Let's see, can you see this? This is the, uh, oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Melissa. This is the shimmery gold. It's called um, gold, and, gold and rose gold metallic specialty paper. And it is really neat. I've just started using, I cut out a couple, well, I actually wrecked one because I cut out a, a wreath and then I cut out a couple more wreaths, but it's um, it's really neat. This is the gold and my package is a mess here. I'm going to um, throw that away. And then the, uh, the rose gold looks like, so this is the gold and isn't that pretty? And then the rose gold looks like this one. It's just a different color. I don't know exactly what I'll do with that one. I have lots, I have lots of uses for this gold. It's fabulous, but the rose gold. So I'm gonna have to sort of look that up on Pinterest and see. But anyway, this is the card we're making today. Um, and it, you can see it's very easy. I saw something similar, not, um, uh, not, but some, it's, just, I have used all of my frames and, and I just want, I saw something similar with 
with this with this gold. And um, anyway, I don't have any idea where where I saw it or by for whom or by whom. But oh, I forgot those two on this one. We'll just change it up. I thought I had everything together, um, and I always like double check, and then I'm missing the main some of the main things. Um, anyway, so here we go with this one. This is the blackberry. Oh, I do have the gems. Oh, good for me. Um, put our card right there and bring out our supplies. And I've got this whole little thing of the ephemera that I'm going to use. So we're going to just dump that out. I keep all those in my, here's the envelope I want to decorate. So... Let's put all these things over there. And this is an easy card, really easy. So we are at five, and it's just a regular top folding card. It's, you know, a, well, it's going to be a horizontal card that folds in half. Five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. This is my inside piece, three and three fourths by five. And then my outside pieces is. This one is, these are, um, this is the cinnamon cider. And I'll tell you what, cinnamon cider is a gorgeous color with, with blackberry. Now, I would not wear this color cinnamon cider by my, you know, I just think it would be an awful color to wear. And it's been sort of popular for the last year or so, but in the stores, or at least I saw it in Florida when I was there last winter, and never wanted to buy anything that color, but it's gorgeous on paper with the blackberry, I think. So that this one, I wanted to show enough of the blackberry. So I made this one three and three fourths by five. That's the first mat. And then the second mat, I just wanted a skinny one. So I just went down an eighth of an inch. So this is the one for, I'll set it like this and you can take a screenshot. And this one is four and seven eighths by five and five eighths. And this is the brushed one. So let's let's do that. Let's put these together. And then we'll do our stamping second this time. We just put those right there. And we'll this uh this gold has a little bit of a coating on it, and you can you can peel it off. There's no reason to when we're just doing a mat. But um, if you were wanting to die cut, I would I would peel off that that glossy backing on it. Um, let's see if I have a piece of that that I did. I thought maybe I did. I wanted to show you that. Well, anyway, it doesn't make any difference. Um, it's it's easy to peel off. The same with that bedazzling. The uh, bedazzling is all gone. But I bet many of you have that and. So if you have if you're die cutting with the bedazzling, I would definitely take the back off. So I'm gonna stand up again here and get this on so I can eyeball it nice and straight. There we go. Isn't that just gorgeous by itself? And uh we'll do that for the inside. Oh wait, I forgot something. I'm gonna pull it off really fast. Oh, I'm gonna do my mom's trick where you uh breathe on it. So the nice thing about using the seal, the regular seal, is that you can remove it. And I'll be able to put, put it back together. I forgot to do the ribbon. So we're, what we're going to do, so I want this ribbon to go across. I want it to be like this. And I don't want any tails on it. I want it to be simple. So this is what I do. I don't know. I think I learned this from my first stamping teacher, Shirley Hot, Hotop in, in Farmington, Missouri. I'm going to leave it on the spool. I'm going to tie a, a bow like this. I don't do these very often, so I'm going to just pull it. Um, not, and I, I do bows a lot, but I don't mean this type of bow. Um, so I'm going to keep getting it to the right size, and then I'm going to give it a good tug. And now I'm going to um, I'm going to put it on my card. Oops, I just dropped my, and now I need my scotch tape. And let's see once, where do I have scotch tape? There it is. Um, okay, so I'm going to get that out handy for me right now. And you could use your Seal Plus also. But I'm going to put this on like this. 
I'm just going to tape it on the back. Do you see how it's already sticking to my... Um, to my seal that I've got on the back. I've got more than enough there. I'm going to cut that off. This is my little ribbon scissors, the snips that's got the charm on it. I do. I am very big. I do not like to use my paper scissors for uh, ribbon and or ribbon scissors for paper uh, because it really, really, really dulls it. Okay, so there we've got it. It's just, there we go, and we'll just put it down again like that, and there we go. Now I can give it a really good tight, um, and I can use a glue, glue dot right there to, if I want to get that ribbon to stay in place, which I probably will do later, but you can see. Um, but it's a nice, can sort of scoot it over like that. Oh, thank you. I like the vertical too on the, on the, pa on the past card. Um, okay, so now we're gonna just do we're just going to do some a little flower arranging. This is the only, well, I guess I shouldn't say it's the only one I have left. But I have this one left. And I have, so I have all these things left. I, I love their, the tags are beautiful and big. And um, I think this is coming in, in in October. So, but these punch out like this. You can punch out these labels like this. And um, you you could even, I think what this one, you could cut around there. It doesn't have a line but you um, to, to pop that one up, but that would be a nice frame too. Anyway, it has all these things and isn't that a pretty one? Oh, I like that. Let's see, maybe they will use that. Um, anyway, I love these, those plastic containers. And I'm just going to put my, let me just see if I'm still in the camera. Um, there we go. Um, so I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive down on this. I'm just going to use my, my green glue, my Tombow, just a little bit on that. Because that stays wet for a while. And then I'm going to Put that right there. And let's just get it nice and straight. There we go. There we go. I do want to leave, I, I meant to leave that a little bit of the bottom open so I can put stems right there. So I think I'm just going to not press that down really hard. And now you just take your flowers and you arrange them. So I want to use something. I like this one with, I have these with the, uh, I like this dark, the dark Blackberry Bliss. So I'm going to use that one off to the side like that for sure. And then I like this, I like this gold one too. That's sort of pretty. Maybe we'll put that one. Um, so what I'll do is slip this underneath. I just did not mean that to go down there. We're going to slip that down. Right. This is just, so we'll slip it down there like that. Then we'll put this one on next. There we go. I think that's good. a good start. And let's see once. I do have, I want to use some of this. This one is pretty. That's pretty. Um, that's from the ephemera from the Blackberry. This one's a little big. This was from the one that's in the annual catalog. This one might be good. This one is sort of nice. Sort of like that. Um, I think maybe we'll use this one. So I am going to, um, let's see, take our glue dots. That's what we're gonna use. And here's a great, another, I always pick up my glue dots and I just put them on the uh, back of my take your pierce tool and I'm just placing them. And that's why I did my little flower arranging in place. Now I'm just putting down some glue dots and these will hold just, just absolutely fine. Um, I'm gonna get another piece in here. Oh goodness, there we go. And uh, do one more maybe, hold that down. 
obviously you could do this. You might, maybe you like to do it ahead of time. Um, I think we'll do that. We'll pop up that gold. Let's see once. I'm going to give it this a little bit of a snip and do some, um, some half size. And I'm just going to just take up, take this and oh, there's a full one. I think that'll work. The full one's going to work on there, but I think on this one we'll do a half and take the backings off and we'll just put this in like that. There we have that. We'll get these all out of the way. And then we want to do our stamping and our decorating, and then we'll be done. Um, so let's uh, bring our pieces in here to stamp. We have our inside. We'll just set the card right there next to our embellishments so I don't lose those. And let's see once there. I'm not get it down too far so you can. Okay, let's see. We are going to stamp. What are we going to stamp? We're going to use Blackberry ink this time. And uh, the stamps that I have, I did, I'm here for you on the last one. Let's see. And I guess we'll do that again because that's the one I have mounted. So here, we'll just... Uh, on this last one I did, it was gold, but I didn't have any more gold left, so I'm doing the one that is blackberry or brown or whatever, I'm, can't, I'm not sure. There we go. And you know, it's a little juicy. I'm just gonna set that there. And I'm here for you. And uh, we'll do uh, the one that's in the, the stamp that's in the, Beauty of the beauty of tomorrow is um, some people are are just likable. You're one of those people. Um, I'm here for you. I know this is a difficult day. And then the changing of the leaves reminds us that the new wonders are just around the corner. That's a pretty one. That's got a gorgeous bird and a couple sprigs and the splotchy things. Um, it's just really nice. So. Um, you probably know someone who's been sick. I know this is a difficult day. Maybe they just lost, you know, a spouse or something. Um, and then let's do, uh, where do we have that bird? Oh, I, in the, I put it in here so I wouldn't lose it. And then I lost it. Okay, let's do a bird up here in the sky. This is really a pretty bird, isn't it? There we go. And uh, that is all the stamping we have to do today. So... We're going to do the envelope in a different way. So let's put this on. Got my seal plus here. I'm just going to do one strip of that. And um, put it up right there. That leaves the, it open like that. I just do that once in a while. Uh, Kay Keltoff in Minnesota always has done that. I've always liked it. So, um, and now I'm going to take my, I'm here for you. I don't want to smear that because that ink was very juicy. And uh, take my dimensionals and we'll use a couple of these on here. Pop it up. And I'm not even sure where we want to put it. Let's see once. I think we'll put it right there. Probably could put it, could put it, I think we'll do it right there if that'll be good. And let's see, we'll just... When you're doing this, keep your finger down, keep it sort of flat and lift up, and then you have it. It works great. And I'm here for you like this. There we go. And now we're going to take all oh, these brushed metallic adhesive gems. Oh, they are just fabulous. They are in the annual catalog, I think. Um, so we're going to use the gold since that's we've used gold paper. And we're going to put, we'll put one. Oops, it's stuck to the paper there. Put one right there. It's sliding all over the place. There we go. There's another one. And we'll do one more. Put that one right there. I like to put them in triangle. There's sort of a triangle right there like that. 
and uh, that's I like to do that in threes. That's that's so. There's my card. We're gonna fix this with a little uh, glue dot, I think. So take it. Take your glue dot. Again, I want it to be on top of this, so I'm going to just. Oop, now we have it off to the side. There we go. It's, it'll be good. Just fine. And now we can do our envelope. Let's see what I have for envelopes here. Oh, I have some things cut. And so here are the two cards. If you like that one's just a little bit crooked in there. I might put another adhesive underneath there. But those are the cards and they're totally, these little sprigs are different, but they're really nice, I think. I think that's, that, it's a really pretty card. This one is not in my class on Thursday, but it's just, a, I could keep using this paper forever. Oh, I, I was going to use this, uh, but maybe I won't. But isn't that pretty? I love that tag. Maybe I'll use another card, but anyway, let's do an let's do our our uh, envelope. So we're going to do the flap like this, and I'm just going to bring in. I just brought a strip. It's a couple. Let's see once how wide that is. Um, it's about two and a half, two and three fourths inches wide. And what I do, this is my my way of doing it. I don't know. You can do whatever you want. Just take take my seal. You can see the light. I've got the blinds sort of closed, but there's just a little bit of sun peeking in there now. Um, there we go. I've got right to the very end of the, my adhesive, too. Okay, so let's... Um, I take this and I match it up to my seam like that, and now I just cut it off. And I actually like to use a big scissors when I do this, but you all use whatever you want. I just find that it's faster and I can cut straighter with my, it's a big, uh, big, very long Tim Holtz scissors. And I think you can probably get those on Amazon. Um, anyway, there is our envelope. Isn't that pretty? And our whole set of cards. Look at, look at that. Very pretty. So, and easy, not hard one bit. Alrighty. Well, ladies. That is it for our project. Let's face up. And there we go. You can see my Blackberry shirt again. Um, so, okay. Well, I will. We are this weekend. We are going to Idaho. Oh, thank you so very much, Nancy Klein. I'm glad you could watch us in Missouri today. Oh, I know, Carla. The colors are beautiful, aren't they? This is, you know... Um, I'm not sure. I think you can order some of this, but it'll, it'll a pop up. Will, it'll say it's back ordered. So um, that's what I've done because I'm ordering more of this paper um, for later because it's really a good one for Thanksgiving and fall and or almost any time you could use. You know, these are this is not a definitely a fall card. You could use, send this to someone in any time of year. Anyway, um, this weekend we are going. I'm super busy because we have, I have a class this Thursday. Then on Friday morning, we are leaving to go to Idaho to the Shep Ranch. Uh, we're going to meet Terry's sister and her husband and our other brother-in-law, um, Matt, whose wife was Terry's sister who died last year during COVID. And COVID's still going on. But anyway, so we are meeting them this weekend at, in Idaho. And we're going to spend a couple days at the ranch. So I already have. But I am trying to stay on top of things. I have next Tuesday's video projects all done and labeled and ready to go so that we get home Monday night. I'll be all set for that on Tuesday. So anyway, that's my that's my situation. And then I have uh, the following week, I have the beautiful cabin uh, paper and and bingo coming up. So I I, I I didn't really plan for this trip, but I think it's going to work. So I'm trying to get everything accomplished and that helps me to get everything done. So um, I might have to take my uh, cards along and write tutorials, type tutorials while I'm in Idaho because reception's not real good, but at least I can do the typing and save those. So all righty, folks and uh, girls, you're not folks. Let's, let's uh, good. 
uh, have a good day and hope it's sunny and nice at nice and sunny and warm wherever you are today. Um, I'm going to go outside and read my book this afternoon. I like to, when it's, when it gets up to 60s, I, I think it's good enough to sit on the porch when the sun's shining. So anyway, that's it, girls, and I will see you soon. Thanks. Have a good week and stay safe. Bye.